Hey, welcome back everyone. Well, tis the season to splurge and uh, make some wonderful seafood. And Chef Matt Winters from the Executive Chef at the Mark and Festival of Foods is here with us today to show us some great new uh, seafood recipes. Good morning, Matt. Good to see you. Good to see you. I have to tell you, I was at festival the other day and I, I walked by the seafood department and I did a double take and came right back because Wow, have you brought in some great stuff for the holidays. Oh, aren't these amazing? They're wow, yeah. Gigantic. I saw these shrimp. Or actually, they're jumbo prawns, and they're really almost the size of lobster tails. Talk about a wow factor. Oh, Man. These, these are fantastic. If you're having a holiday party and you want to really impress somebody, this is what you need. I, I wish we had the, little, the regular shrimp next to them because you could just see how big they are. Um, I don't know if you're getting that. If you go to festival, you'll actually see in person how big they are. But one to two of those will do somebody. You know oh, what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, they'll fill you right up, and they're just like showstoppers. So we're going to take this these jumbo wonderful prawns and just give them some great flavor, but it's really mm -hmm. an easy recipe. It's very, very simple. We're going to do some compound butters, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to start with a chili lime. Mm. And it's got a little bit of a southwestern flair. It's a tiny bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness to it with some roses lime juice. And then we're going to put that on the shrimp and pop them in the oven and broil them up. Yum. They're really good. And these compound butters, I mean, you can do all different flavors. Uh, you did a, a, just a regular simple garlic butter one. Um, mm -hmm. You could totally make them ahead of time. You oh, know? absolutely. You can make these. You can make these months ahead actually and freeze them, and then pull them out as you need. Love it, and they're great on steaks, great on seafood. Tell me, I'm going to check on the ones we've got in the oven, the shrimp. Tell me what's in the garlic butter compound. The garlic has just got garlic, some scallions, and a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice, mm. and some whole butter. That's it. So really, really simple. We'll put the full recipe for that on our website. But let's go ahead and make this uh, chili butter. So starts out with. Start out with a little bit of softened butter. Okay. Uh, go ahead and throw two sticks in. That's okay. your half, half a pound. Two sticks of butter. Uh -huh. And, you know, we're going to be putting some on each shrimp, so it's not like we're all getting a stick of butter. Right. Uh, so, and this makes a nice big batch. So. Yeah, this goes a long way. Okay, so two sticks of butter. What's next? Uh, throw a little bit of scallions in. Okay, so maybe a uh, handful. A couple, of tab couple tablespoons. Okay. I like that's good. Okay. A uh, little bit of the rose's lamb juice. About three tablespoons of that. And now I asked Chef, I said, why aren't we using just straight up regular lime juice? Why are we using the roses? This has got a little bit of sweetness to it that, that plays with the spice of the chili powder, and it really brings it out. The, the straight lime is good, and you can use that if you prefer. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with it. I just happen to like the combination of these flavors. And a lot of us might have the roses right in our bars anyway, so which well, is nice. It's you know. the holidays. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so the butter, the scallions, the roses, lime juice. A little bit of soy. Okay, soy sauce. It gives you a bit of a background flavor. Okay. And then about a tablespoon or two of the chili powder. Okay. And put get that your, mixing. Put it into your mixer and let it go. All right, let's talk about these shrimps. So we get them home from the grocery store. What do we do with them? Well, once you get them home, the beautiful thing is these are pre-split. Okay. So they've already been cut down the back. Okay. Like so. They're already butterflied almost, right? Almost. So we're going to finish that out. We're just going to open them up. We're going to pull the legs off. It's very simple. That's just garbage. Once you get that shell split, lift it right out of there. You can just pull it out. If you can't quite pull it, you can use your shears to snip it. Sure. Once you we need a knife, I was going to say. Yeah. Yep. Once we get that laid down, come right down the back here. And they're already deveined for you, too. Already deveined that's and everything. Nice, so they're nice and clean. So you just want to cut, but not all the way through. You just want to open that guy up. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to go right back in the shell. We're going to open oh, this up. Okay. So for presentation, put them back in there. Well, presentation and flavor. You actually pick up some flavor from the shell in the baking process. I just want to check these. Oh, my gosh. They look wonderful. Wowie. Wowie. Smells great. Mm, mm, mm. I'll let you keep working on that. All right. So show us how we actually well, put those in. What you do with the uh, butter is just take a tablespoon or so, put that right on top, and pop it in the oven, and it's ready to go. And what is, should be the oven temperature now? Uh, I usually set mine about 350 degrees and uh, let it go for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, you want the flesh of the, of the shrimp to be firm to the touch. So and, and everybody's oven is a little bit different, so Absolutely. that's why it's always a range of yeah. 10 to 15. Now, let's say you didn't do these big, huge guys. Um, you would certainly use this compound butter and, and any kind of you know shrimp. You know? Any, any kind of shrimp will work. Just adjust your cooking time. The smaller the shrimp, the less time it'll take to cook. And even if you're getting like the medium-sized ones, you could just put that in like a, a dish with the butter. You know oh, what sure. I mean? Instead of butter flying you could, it. You could even melt this down, use it as a dip with a cocktail shrimp. You could mm. you know, grill your shrimp and dip it. You could melt it, brush it over stuff while you're grilling it. Yum. There's a lot of different uses for it. Absolutely. So I want to show you these that just came out of the oven. Uh, we put three on the plate. We did two with the chili lime, 
Mm -hmm. And uh, that would be nice to serve with some fresh lime for, you know, and, you know squeezing on top. And maybe yeah. some margaritas. Yeah, you know, yeah. Why not? And this is the one with the garlic butter, um, with the garlic and, and um, the, the parsley in there, is it? And, Correct. Uh, and scallions. Uh, a little, little bit of scallion, scallion in this one. Scallion, yum. Mm -hmm. Recipes are all on our website. Um, and let me tell you, if you really want to do something special this holiday season, check out those prawns. Chef Matt's going to stick around, and basically we're going to do stuffed shrimp and stuffed lobster. Correct. And also going to show you... How to make, because I, I never know how to do this, mine at home never tastes like it does at the restaurant, classic drawn butter Correct. for all that seafood, because there is a little trick to doing that, I understand. Mm -hmm. There yeah. is. We've got a recipe, so we'll be right back. Stay with us. Yum.